but I honestly forgot I had them because I don't like them and I shouldn't have got them and I didn't even need to get them apparently I just feel like being really brutal today it's, it's a, I guess it's a good day to like do some decluttering Hi guys and welcome back to another decluttering video <laughs> If you saw my last video actually my last few video videos I've been mentioning that I have a wardrobe dilemma right now and I decided that we might as well tackle it because as you may have noticed I've been wearing like the same shirts <laughs> these same like Uniqlo shirts that I, I got recently yeah they're kind of just like my go-to because the rest of my wardrobe I'm just like I don't know what to do there are a few things first that we should talk about and one being if you are new to this channel then you might have not seen I did a past like decluttering video where which was like kind of more winter edition you know like i was putting away my like summer clothes put that all into this box right but since it's getting a little bit warmer i like decided to like bring more stuff out but then that just like i mean because the weather's not too warm yet and it's, it doesn't really get that hot here um not until like summer or like even the end of summer nowadays yeah so like i, I was like kind of confused on what to bring out and what to keep in the box and like and i think i've just realized too that there's stuff that i'm holding on to that i've had for a while you know and like there's that like sentimental factor of it and i've been like realizing over the past few months or year i guess like maybe yeah like maybe my style has just changed so much that I can't really incorporate some of the clothes that I used to wear because I did also go through like a phase I'm still kind of going through it where I wanted to like stop buying all clothes because of you know like sustainability and stuff like that you know like when you learn about something and you kind of go like the extreme opposite way you know it's kind of how it's been and like like all you can do is try you know and at the end of the day I feel like I've already been doing what I can you know like, but basically I should I need to kind of just like clear the air with my myself and like my closet and yeah I want to see like if I could whittle down to my just like favorite things um but yeah anyway I feel like I'm just rambling but and I also decided that maybe I shouldn't do this whole thing where I have this seasonal clothes because then you forget like what you have and then you might end up buying something that you already have which like defeats the purpose of keeping it, you know? Yeah, and because I was like, oh my god, but there's so many things I have to like alter. Like what if I, I want to keep it, but I just haven't been wearing it because I need to alter it and stuff like that. So my boyfriend was like, maybe you should just put that in, put all those clothes into a box so that you could get to them in, at a later time, but it doesn't have to like take up a bunch of space on my wardrobe and in my mind you know when i'm going through that box i'll use that box to be like as my alteration pile and hopefully like my alteration pile isn't huge because then at that point maybe it is time to just be like okay maybe we should just donate them again sorry <laughs> <sighs> okay i feel like i just like went around in circles talking because i'm probably procrastinating and yeah and i'm embarrassed i like i do you guys feel this where you're kind of like embarrassed? I, I lost my train of thought, but you're just kind of like, like I don't even have that much clothes, but still I'm embarrassed about facing these clothes. You know, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like you're, you don't want to face the clothes and be like, I'm sorry, but I don't like you anymore. <laughs> That's basically it, I think. Oh my God. I, okay, let's just go. <laughs> let's just get into this, okay. Should we start with the box? Also, I have a bunch of things piled on top of it that should go into this box. This I like, but it's definitely more of a fall color. I feel like all my all my like more orangey things like this and my beloved like corduroy jeans, these are definitely like fall. Looks and is for like more fall like since he's, this is like a corduroy this i wanted to change into some other shirt <sighs> but maybe maybe by the end of this we'll be like okay maybe it's time to just give this up you know i'm not sure exactly if this color yellow looks good on me so we'll see right now like i know that skinny straps are in but personally i feel like i'm 
I want to get more thick straps, but it is really, really cute. But let's put that in the giveaway pile. Let's, let's, let's just be brutal, guys. This I've had for a really long time, and then I gave to my sister, and then, and then my sister was decluttering her clothes, and she, like, didn't want this anymore, and I was like, maybe I want that again. <laughs> Like, I think I like this shirt. I just definitely feel like maybe it, I shouldn't keep it because I did wear this like a lot in high school and maybe it's just time to let it go. But I don't know, it does look cute. It like perfectly like goes to like my waist, my natural waist. So I kind of, maybe I should turn this into like a corset. Up next is this tube top that I got pretty cheap at like Marshalls a while back. Some of the strings in the ruching pulled out, so then I ended up just pulling out a bunch of them and sewing it so that it fit me. But honestly, I think I'm past the phase of tube tops. I was really into them. I did consider like adding like ribbon straps like that you could like tie, but I don't know, maybe it's just not my style anymore. Cause like, I don't know what to wear with it. I just feel like being really brutal today. It's, it's a, I guess it's a good day to like do some decluttering. This was also gonna be in my alterations pile because I, I know I already altered it, but honestly, I don't think I, I still don't think I like how it looks. I don't really like the neckline and maybe I should just, maybe I should just give up on this. But this was like right when quarantine happened. It was in a completely different color than I actually thought it was gonna be. Cause I thought this, I thought this was gonna be more of like, I got a new hat by the way this color but no it came and it was yellow basically the color was called rust too so that's also where it was like what you know what i think these two things they don't i don't think they look good on my skin but everlane is kind of on the pricier side so it makes me sad <laughs> it makes me like oh my gosh i just wasted money because i i barely even wore that out on to something i definitely like and will probably keep can we just take a second here and see the irony in all of my statements thus far? <laughs> this is the exact same color as those two clothing pieces that I just got rid of. Yeah. This is probably my favorite sweater now. But yeah, definitely keeping this. this I, I love this. This... Dun dun dun. I honestly just don't wear it and it was on the clearance rack and stuff like that and I got it for like $12 or something and it was like, it used to be a hundred something. I don't think velvet really looks that great on me so I'm sorry and thank you. Yeah, I should probably say thank you because I, I feel so bad about this stuff. And there are these shirts that I got at Marshall's for work but I honestly forgot I had them because I don't like them and I shouldn't have got them. And I didn't even need to get them, apparently. These are old uh, pajama pants, and I think I'm gonna get rid of them because I, I have these other pajama pants that I like much more. This, I got at a thrift store. Like, I think, I like blue, but maybe not like super dark navy blue. I think these sweaters from Uniqlo, I like. See, it's brown. This one is, just, is a sentimental one. I've had this sweater for a long time. My mom got it for me. From Zaro. I feel like because I got this sweater, I started wearing this one more. But yeah, I mean, I've had this for so long, I feel like it's just a little bit old. I need to just give in to the new replacement. And also, I think color-wise, I like this one more. It's a little bit more warm. Finally, going to say thank you and give this away. Wait, do you want? Do you guys want to see like what? I feel like, but here's what we have so far. This is kind of like the keep, this is the giveaway. Okay, this is also another sentimental thing. I have had this shirt for a long time, probably since high school or even before. And I've, I've even like embroidered it a little bit to try to give it new life. I don't really wear the off the shoulder thing anymore. Yeah, it's just time. It's just time. This for the same reasons, kind of. I don't know, I don't really know what to do about swimsuits. I feel like I need to get completely new ones because I want to get like high-waisted swimsuits. I think I like the shade, it's just I'm probably not going to wear them, so. Or maybe I should just keep this because I think I, ow. I think I already like went through them and I only kept this. I'll keep these two just to be sure and I'm going to finally retire these bla this black bottoms that I've had for like years and years. Ow. I just gave myself like 
I just like scraped myself on the box. This is another Uniqlo sweater that I'll probably just keep around. Oh, but this I need to like bring out because I haven't been wearing this a lot along with this thing and I feel like this is like kind of like a pinafore almost and it has a collar so this will definitely go with my style I just couldn't really wear it because of my skin condition and I felt weird about it so oh my god this is a skirt oh my god I completely forgot I got this last year this is also from Madewell Oh my god, I completely forgot I had this, and it's all wrinkly now. Yeah, I should probably- I think the problem is that the waist is too thick on me, so I need to downsize it. And I guess I can put it right back into the box, since it's gonna be alter altered. Okay. The box. box is empty. Also, with these shorts, I feel like I need to try them on, because I got these on Depop, like, a long, long time ago. But yeah, I definitely like them for this, like, kind of more mom jean style i think if i compare them to the shorts that i recently got that i'm hoping i'll wear but we'll see if i wear them i think the wash of these these are definitely kind of more like a thing of the past for me my hair used to be blonde so okay sorry as i like weirdly take off the pants definitely when i was blonde these acid wash would probably go better and it doesn't really go with the clothes that i've been purchasing anyway so like these i mean no, yeah, I like these. These are cute. They're not super long. I mean, they're not super short, which is better. But yeah, I think I'll keep these for the summer. Definitely going to wear these. But it's also really high-waisted, which I appreciate. <sighs> okay, now getting to the, I guess, scarier stuff. I don't know why these would be scarier, but the things that are actually, like, on this that I don't know what to do with. But maybe we should just first start with the things that I definitely want to keep. I'm definitely keeping these two jeans. These will probably be my go-to summer jeans. Sad thing, these jeans that I recently got from Everlane, or my mom bought me, they started getting a hole in them right here, like already, and I haven't really had them for that long. I emailed them, so we'll see if they respond. They did, and they were actually really nice and gave us a refund. I'm also definitely keeping this shirt, this shirt that I'm wearing, and this shirt just because I, I just recently got them from Uniqlo. This I really like. Oh yeah, and like I've said before, this is like my favorite shirt, so I'll be keeping this too. I just recently got from the thrift store down the street that opened. There's like, I need to alter this to make look a little bit more flattering on me. Puff sleeve detail, like very lightly puff sleeved. This is originally from Urban Outfitters, which is why it's like kind of a good deal. I'm gonna put it into the alteration box. The alteration box. For now, this is definitely going to be a little spring thing. So these two shirts. Yeah, I don't know if it's because of like the spaghetti straps too, since I'm like kind of not really liking spaghetti straps, but I do, I do still like it. This is how I feel about my clothes. I just say, I just look at them and I'm like, I, I literally don't know. I just feel like you're way too far away from me, guys, please. I don't know. Like, I think it's just like, I'm, I'm scared I'm going to regret getting rid of things, you know? That's mostly the thing. Now that I'm looking at this pile in front of me, this color, way more bright in like saturation than all the other clothes that I have in the pile that I'm keeping in front of me. My first like ruffle shirt that I made and it was, you know, it was a dress. I'm sad, but I guess I could just make a new one, right? I just literally, I tried to film like a thrift flip and by adding some lace the idea is there i don't know but this is how it turned out it's kind of cute so maybe someone will like it my throat is getting so dry because i think i've been talking way too much about my clothes <sighs> okay this beloved cardigan that i bought like last year or something but i don't know are cardigans still my thing i mean <laughs> now that i now that i put it on it kind of like thank you for serving your purpose and also being like only a couple of bucks at ross this Uniqlo jacket I've had for a while, Aglets, as I was called, it fell off. I've I've like kept it for now because I'm like this is like my only like light jacket. But deep down, I do want to get rid of it. <laughs> like my style has kind of changed to more wanting more like natural fibers. So that's why I've been really liking wearing a jean jacket, which I never thought I would like, but I really like my jean jacket. <sighs> so I might get rid of this. Even though I might, I kind of need it, but maybe that will just push me to find a light jacket that I actually like. Now the hard part, my, my stinking dresses. <laughs> my dresses 
that I barely wear I wear barely wear dresses right now. I I didn't realize I had so much passion about this, but like okay, cute, right? This is super cute. From the bat, I wish these were like real pockets. I don't know why they just I did I don't know why they didn't just make them pockets. It's just a tad bit short. I realized that I don't really like mini length dresses on me anymore. It's okay, I have some photos in it. I still really like this. I almost got rid of it, like I was selling it, but no one bought it. But then I realized, why did I try to sell it? I, like, I like this. I'm like, let me keep it again. But I think I got it in like, like a tall size or something. It's it's like a few inches longer than the overalls and that's why I think I like this more. Cause I have a long torso. So if something is short, it's gonna look super short on me. And this is like the brown satin dress. I think I'll keep this. I, th I feel like I just haven't been able to wear it as much because of quarantine and not being able to go outside. If I don't wear them and we can still, when, and when we can go outside, like, then, then I'll then I'll say goodbye to them. But for right now, I think I'm gonna keep them. Pink satin dress that I don't know if I'll ever wear again. It's gonna stay because it literally makes me so happy seeing it. Like I love this skirt. I love it. <laughs> so these shirts are kind of for like just work. I realize you can't even see me. This is like part of a set that I got from Depop, which low key I kind of don't want, and maybe I'll give to my sister. I was just keeping these because I needed something to wear under dresses if I wanted to. I want to I want to wear. I, this I'm like determined to wear. I mean, I don't know if I'll wear it, but I, it's still really pretty, so I'm going to keep it. They they look really cute even though they feel like lightweight sweatpants, which is why I, I love them. This I got on the real real. I think maybe I'll wear it more. I just couldn't really wear it because of my skin. And then we have a pile of clothes that are meant for sleeping clothes and lounge clothes and workout clothes. So I guess I'll just like roll up clothes that I'm gonna keep because maybe that will be a better solution. These sleep shirts my mom got me like a while back. The pattern is a little bit funny, but they're like super comfortable. So I'm definitely keeping those. These are, these are leggings that I got from Aerie like a long time ago, but I don't know. Cause I don't really wear them anymore because I got these ones from Aerie and they're the ones that have the pockets on the side. I mean, you probably know too. Things without pockets, you just don't want to wear sometimes. Like if you have an alternative with pockets, you're gonna wear the ones that are with pockets. And these ones are definitely thinner than the one that I'm wearing right now. But now I kind of like the, th the more thicker material style. Okay, these I'm gonna keep for, you know, pajamas. This is like a band tee that I like. Band that me and my sister went to a small concert for. Okay, this is like something I got from UC Davis. And honestly, maybe I should give it to my friend because she's going to UC Davis now. So yeah, if you're watching this and you want this, let me know. These are the pajama pants that I was talking about earlier that are comfortable, more comfortable than the other ones. So the things in my hamper are either work shirts or things I'm most likely likely going to keep. Yes, this is the majority of my clothes now. I think this is it. Well, let's just put things back and see if it looks cohesive and if I like things. Because I want my wardrobe to like be cohesive enough so that I don't really have to think as much like on what to wear. I, I would rather my closet be full of go-tos, you know, like, and not have things that are just kind of cluttering the way and stuff. Like my mom has these like pants hangers and I realized we had them in the closet. So I'm gonna use them to hang up my, this skirt, specifically this skirt so that I, I can remember to wear this. Oh wait, I forgot. I have some I have some jackets in here. Windbreaker thing from like Target. I think I probably don't want it. I already have a raincoat. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go through those at a later time.
my knees are starting to hurt by just walking on them. What do you think of my closet? It actually looks really nice. Like, I feel like it's it's uh, bookended by like satin. <laughs> like the, they they don't fit with the color scheme, but this is actually perfectly representative of like the color scheme I guess that I like. Like warmer like browns and stuff like that, and then greens. And then I also decided like blues because I think blues really look good on me anyway. That's what my mom has told me like my whole life. But yeah, like bringing in greens definitely because you know, there's so much green in nature and I just feel like it's a really nice color combo with like browns, bringing in greens and stuff like cause this was my favorite. Probably cause of this shirt, honestly. Definitely like how it looks hanging my pants. I still, have, I still feel like I have way too many um, dresses. And now that I think about it, I like the length of this one. It's like an inch or two, a little bit too short. And sadly, it doesn't go with my color scheme as much. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. Yeah, and then I decided to keep all of my sweaters like visible. And I put like my two like kind of summer, like my summery stuff up there. And then I think the top one will be for my work clothes since that will just be easy access to them. I am going to just finish by putting the stuff that I don't want in this box for right now so then me and my mom can figure out what to like, like if we should send them the thread up or not and stuff like that. Oh my gosh, guys, as I was like, I just made the, in the outro and stuff, but I just received my order from Bagu, Bagu, because I desperately kind of need a new backpack because my backpack that I've loved, like my mini backpack that I've worn like every day for as long as I've had it, has a hole in it at the bottom now. I mean, I could probably try to mend it, but I think it's also time for a change, but yeah, let's let's open it because I also got some masks. Um, hopefully they'll fit, but we'll see. I'm so excited about this. Ooh. And yes, I got some kids masks. I've had a whole thing with masks. They just don't fit my face. I think like I'm just very small right here, I guess. I don't know, Every, all masks like look gigantic on me. So let's see if these fit. And I got these cute colors. Okay, but these look very small. Oh goodness, hopefully please work. I'll just open the ear loops a little bit more. See, yes, they work. This is like fits perfectly on me. I am just like a kid, basically. My face is like a kid. How does it look? I kind of look like a duck. <laughs> no, but I like them, definitely like them. Definitely smell like the factory or whatever. This like fits perfectly on my face cute literally i think these are meant to fit like like three to eleven year olds or, or something like that but this is what i was really excited about it's definitely much more spacious and this is what i need because i i just tend to take everything along with me so it's like a drawstring oh my gosh so cute okay and you can tie up and then it also just closes like that definitely gonna take some getting used to because this is like a canvas bag what do you think what do you think yay impromptu haul okay but yeah i think that's going to be it for this video i will probably do another like spring outfits video or something or maybe it'll be summer by then hope not but probably do a like another capsule wardrobe thing because i mean if you think about it it's kind of a capsule wardrobe how many clothes do i have Okay, let's just say everyday clothes, it's like around 22. I mean like, cause this is not really everyday, but I counted it, so. If we do include the sweaters, it's 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. About 30, let's just say about 30 clothes. Like not including, you know, heat tech stuff, loungewear stuff, and some work stuff. But yeah, we'll definitely see if I like these clothes, but looking at them definitely looks aesthetic definitely do another one of those at some point I, I want to I just didn't feel inspired with the clothes that i had so maybe i'll also be adding new things like i need to find a tank top so those will probably come in the future so if you're 
if you want to see those remember to subscribe and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a like and yeah and let me know what you guys thought but yeah anyway i will see you guys in the next video next week thanks for watching bye